Okay, the free wing F14. I'll just uh, taxi it up the other end of the strip. We're at Grattan Field today. You'll probably hear the iconic windmill going up there behind us. There's a bit of a crosswind today. I haven't flown this girl for a while. It's the beauty of electrics. You can store them and nothing changes. Well, apparently nothing changes. So I'll just line it up on the strip. We'll go for takeoff flap. Wings are out as you can see. We'll take off and we'll head up and I'll have a chat about how it flies. Okay, we'll hit full power. We've got a little bit of a crosswind. I'll keep the wings level, keep it straight on the strip. Ease the power up to full. Let the nose come up, gear up, flap up, and it just tracks off beautifully. Nice flying machine this. Wings out, it's very easy to fly, it's quite docile, it's got a nice turn radius. Wings closed, it's a different story, but you get used to it after a while and the setup's everything. So this is wings open, nice and slow. Lovely machine, looks great in the air. It's a favourite of a lot of spectators when I take it out. They're quite aerobatic in this form, we'll do a loop. Plenty of energy. We really start coming off the power on the downside of the loop, save a bit of battery. I'll take it up this end of the field and I'll close the wings. We'll do a fast wings closed. So uh, wings sweeping now, I'll go to full throttle, keep it in turn, and bring it in for a high speed pass. Those look good. It is a different animal to fly with the wings closed. The um, gyro setup is important. It's, uh, it's not as responsive in elevator. You can still throw it around okay. That's full aileron, so it's no flashy sort of aileron response. It's just nice. I'll go wings back out. And out come the wings. Great machine. I think it'll improve if I get some decent batteries. These ones are really tired, old. They're acting like 25C batteries at the moment. They're not great. I do need to get some good 70 or 80C batteries. It'll make all the difference. That's the key to flying electrics, is just get some really good batteries. Well, not much else to show you guys. I'll do a gear pass. I'll just keep this one nice and quick. Almost got a tailwind now from the direction we took off, but I'll still come in this way. I'll get the gear down. There it is. And I'll go full flat. The turbulence out there. Full landing flap. Into circuit. I like to do sweeping turns into landing. You can judge your height and energy nicely when you're turning. And off the power now, let it float in. There you have it, the F14, it's a beautiful machine. We'll have a little talk about it later and uh, the setup. And That's flight number 73, so there's no issues as far as um, mechanics and everything. The undercarriage is holding up beautifully. I've uh, only got positive things to say about the F14, and I just love that sweet wing. I'll just bring that wing back in now. It's a great looking machine. Hi everyone, Chad here from Extreme Hobby and Yoda from RC Skunk Works. Hey guys. As you know, this year we've brought you uh, a whole lot of planes from the great factory of Freewing in China. Um, we've demonstrated a lot. We're now going to talk about a few of the, uh, say, better performing models of the year and also some of the uh, underdogs that we believe thoroughly you should be getting your hands on. We would also like to talk about what's coming in for Christmas. So I'm going to hand it over to Yoda now and um, we'll take it from there. Thanks Chad. Well obviously we've got the uh, F-16 and the F-14 in frame here. We're just out flying them because I hadn't flown them for a while. So we thought, nice day, let's go and fly them. I have had 73 flights on the F-16 
72 of those were in standard setup. So as it comes out of the box, I really didn't change anything. I haven't been flying with any flap setups. It really doesn't need it. Once it gets into high alpha, it, it holds that nose up nicely. The only thing I was a little bit disappointed with was the elevator. There's a fair bit of slop in it. And it just felt like you had elevator on rubber bands. So I've made a slight mod because I flew the 70 mil F-16 from Freewing and fell in love with it. So I actually replicated what they did with the 70 mil one. I fixed the tail plane at a neutral incident. So wherever you've been flying and you've got uh, your neutral point, I've just fixed it, I pinned it. I haven't glued it as such, but I just pinned it. And I cut elevators in and lengthened the push rods to give that same effect as the 70 mil one. It just tightened the whole elevator show up and success. It actually improves it quite a bit. A pretty good model in standard format. A lot of power, um, very fast. If anyone's thinking of getting an F-16 turbine jet and paying 15 grand and upwards for a turbine model, I'd suggest get this first, fly the ring out of it. Absolutely. <laughs> and really get to know it because it has very similar characteristics as the big stuff. Um, it's a much cheaper thing to practice on as well. So my recommendation, grab an F-16 in 90 mil, have a lot of fun with it. Um, the elevator is fine the way it is standard, but I'm just a little bit fussy. I just like that little bit of extra feel. Guys, these F-16 90 mils are in stock at the moment. Uh, they're available straight off the shelf or through our website. Um, and guys, for what you get, it's a hell of a jet for a really good price. So if you're after one, and especially as Yoda just made point, if you're looking at going up to even a HSD one or up to a Skymaster or, or Fly Eagle or something along those lines for Bayo Jet, get your hands on one of these first because it just makes sense. If you can fly this well, you'll fly the turbine well. It's as simple as that. Yeah, it does work that way. One little point though with any of these, get yourself some good batteries. 90 mil stuff especially, they're pulling upwards of 110, 118 amps at full throttle. So your battery really needs to be able to give that. The ESC is very, very strong. The fan is very strong. It's just usually the batteries let you down. So if you're gonna fly this sort of stuff, spend a little bit extra and at least get 65C batteries and it'll pay off in the long term. They won't puff and they'll give you great performance. So that's the F-16, we've had a lot of fun with it. We do fly with uh, gyros in them, the free wing gyro, it's great. All very soft settings and uh, it just grooves. This is one of my favourites, the F-14 and we talk about underdogs. It's got itself a bad reputation for no good reason. I think mainly because of setup and people just aren't spending the time to set them up properly. And I always say, uh, look at the RC Geeks YouTube site. He's an American um, guy who really knows his stuff. He's very good at setting these models up, especially the F-14. He's got a great setup. I use the DX9 setup straight off his website, off his, um, sorry, off his comments. You can download it off his YouTube comments and put it straight into my transmitter. I made some fine adjustments just because I'd like to fly slightly different, but fundamentally, what he tells you to do is with the wings out, the ailerons, as you can see, don't work all that much. It's mainly the tailerons that are working to give you the roll. The ailerons work in spoiler type fashion only. They don't go down. And it seems to work beautifully with wings out like that. It, it, it makes it a nice smooth model to fly. With the wings swept, I'll just show you them sweeping. The programming that he has that I downloaded prevents the ailerons from working and just reduces the tailor on somewhat down to about 50% of the original. It smooths out the, uh, the roll rate and it just creates a really nice flying machine with the wings swept. The other thing uh, that I did, I actually increased the elevator throw slightly from what he had just to give that pitch authority when the wings are swept. Um, apart from that, I haven't changed much of his settings at all. I'll just open the wings back up. With flap, the RC Geek um, system, it actually incorporates the ailerons as well, like the full size F-14. It's beautiful. When it comes into land with landing flap, it's a lot of flap. You'll see the elevator also has quite a bit of trim moving with it to hold the nose up. It 
absolutely lands rock solid. I really enjoy landing this thing. I've done some landings that are just incredible. Uh, very low circuits, sweeping turns onto final, it holds the nose up, it's like a big pussycat. Beautiful to fly in this format. But again, it's thanks to the RC Geek. He's got a really good setup. Don't be scared of it, guys. It's a wonderful model. It has got a heavy wing loading, as all these jets do. It's a uh, really good training for turbines, so a lot of fun. How many flights you got on this one now? Uh, it's up to, I do write my flight logs on the aircraft. This one actually has 72 written there. We've had two or three flights today, today. so 75, 75 flights, flights now. Flights. And now, all working beautifully. Yeah, guys, people come in and say, that you know this is a hard model to set up it's not if you take the right advice from the right guys take it from Yoda take it from RC Geek as, as Yoda's pointed you in that direction follow their setups don't second guess it they know what they're doing and um, you'll be able to fly this well and obviously it's not a jet for a beginner I mean there's no way you would say that no. but if you are a good flyer and you're competent you understand flight dynamics you'd be able to fly this quite well anyone can so don't be afraid of it uh, again, these are in stock, available now off the shelf, website or phone us, um, or come into the store, that's no issues at all guys, but this is one fantastic model. I have to say, whenever you've flown at an air show this year, Yoda, um, this is this is a showstopper. It is, people love it. Yeah. They absolutely love it. We did put um, smoke on too, right. and so it really looks good with the smoke. Yeah, we've got a little smoke system that Yoda puts on here, an electronic smoke system that's activated when the wings sweep back. It looks magnificent. And um, really, guys, this jet is, is just one of a kind. It's something unique. And unless you're willing to go up to a Skymaster F-14 and, and spend 30 plus thousand dollars, this is your next best bet. And uh, it's a big girl too, so you've really got a nice scale model uh, that you could have in your hangar. One thing I'll also mention too about the programming of the F-14, if you do forget to bring flap up and you do hit wings close, the flap automatically comes up on this setting too, so you can't go wrong. So, uh, yeah, just a, a really good little setup from the RC Geek. Look, the free wing stuff is excellent. We've had a really good run. My Stinger 90's got well over 300 flights on it with the original undercarriage. Um, the little Avanti 80 mil sport jets now well over 120 flights and had at least six or eight different and, pilots. And flights. probably the outstanding plane of the year, I'd say. That, that Avanti is the, what's capturing everyone around Australia right it is now. Awesome. A mm -hmm. great model. Um, look, the 90 mil stuff is excellent, but again, you just really need to buy those great batteries with the high C rating. They do give a lot of performance. The one that I really, really like is the Yak 130. Mm -hmm. In both 6S and 8S, the 6S is fine. You just need to manage the power a little bit. The 8S, wow, it's just off the ground. Um, again, they, they're just a really nice flying model. The one that really impresses me for all round speed envelope is the uh, is the Venom. Yeah, wow. nice big wings on Great that. Plane. Uh, just a all round pussycat, uh, fast, slow, uh, good flight times with 90 mil setup. I'll tell you one we haven't out, had out in a while on display for our viewers out there is the F15, oh, the 90 yeah. mil F15. Yeah, something we have to get out again and show you guys uh, just to rejuvenate that love for the Eagle. Uh, another great plane that's in stock, guys. So these are these are amazing models, and uh, compared to yesteryear when it was hard to get the hands your hands on the models, these are all in stock and available now. So you can watch these reviews, and if if the uh, the mood grabs you or takes you, um, you know, give us a call because uh, they're usually on hand most of these models. The other one that you've flown recently is the A4. A4 Skyhawk. Yep. What a beautiful model. Uh, it's so different from everything else. It, it's just got a really nice feel about it. Um, the look in the sky is incredible, especially when you put the ordnance and the drop tanks on it. Fantastic. Um, good performance too. Again, it, these jets, once you get them on the step, uh, when I say on the step, get them flying, right. get them going fast, and they really, really feel crisp. If you're reefing on the elevator, and choking it a little bit, not letting it just get up and go, you'll notice you'll start thinking, gee, this thing hasn't got a lot of power, but it's all your flying style. It's a bit, if you've done any slope soaring in your life, um, I akin it to that. It, it's very similar to flying high performance slope type models. You just gotta let the aircraft have its head and get going, and then you can start cutting around and using the elevator with some authority. But altogether, fantastic year, it's been good. It has been a good year, and 
Look, we're looking forward to what 2018 is going to bring us. Yep. Uh, you and I will be spending some time in April in China again and, uh, and trying to do our best for the, uh, the Australian um, RC community over here. Um, but let's talk quickly about Christmas coming up. Um, obviously, a little over a month and a half or just under away. Um, we've got a shipment, guys, that's here on the first week of December. Some key points in there. A4 stock will be on hand as of that shipment. Um, Spitfire 1600 mil flight line, another great plane, yeah. uh, will be on hand. Um, also, the 70 mil 6S BAE Hawk from um, Freewing. We haven't had one of those here yet. We haven't demoed it for you guys, but that will be just around the corner. So look out for that video, but more so, um, we'll try and have it up on the website in, say, the coming week, guys, and you'll be able to look at doing pre-orders. They are no deposit pre-orders. You can just put your name down on it, give us your phone number, we'll contact you when they're available. Um, take it or leave it at that point, but at least you'll have your name on it because quantities will be short in this shipment. It's not a full container load of just free wing. Um, what else have we got? The the Mini 64mm um, F8. Wow. Yeah, so there's <laughs> that's quite a few models yeah. coming in, quite a few new models. Yeah, it's a um, beautiful looking model, the yeah, F8. Yeah, you definitely had a lot of fun and that was yeah. on your property yeah. along with the horses, the horses if you all watch. So <laughs> if you haven't seen yeah. that video, get on there and have a look on our YouTube channel on Facebook. Um, either or, uh, that video is, is quite a classic to watch. Um, anything else you can think of there, Yoda? Uh, I, I do love the twin engine, twin prop stuff, mm -hmm. especially the F7F, yeah. that a beautiful flying yeah. model. And it's quite big in the sky too. It's a, you know, it has a lot of presence at a model airfield, and good flight times. The prop stuff, you obviously get better flying time, um, a bit easier to fly because the wing loading's a lot lighter. Uh, but just an all-round great aircraft. They bring a, an easy model to build. Something that, guys, if you're looking just to go out and fly, uh, something that looks really scale, flies beautifully, lots of performance, straight out of the box. We're flat out spending more than half an hour putting any of these models together these days. They're just so easy to put together. So a great line, the flight line model, really good. Something I think we should bring up just before we close off this segment. CNC alloy undercarriage, yep. grass strips. <laughs> We keep hearing the old scenario of, will this take off from grass? I think that's been well accomplished now. Absolutely. Uh, Even, you know, th this is a pretty thick, grassy field. And you see other aircraft struggling, and you'll, you'll watch the 14 take off, and it has no issue whatsoever. Absolutely. And it's heavy. This, this is flying weight with big batteries in it at close to 6.5 kilos. Yep. And it's leaping off the paddock in only a quarter of the strip. So that really shows its size and weight, again, for that F-14. It's just under large scale, guys. It is. So it's, uh, it's, a hell of a, it's a hell of a foamy. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't even call it that. Let's just call it a hell of an aircraft, an RC <laughs> model. So, um, look, guys, I think that's where we'll wrap it up for you. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to comment or uh, drop us an email or give us a phone call or drop into the shop as well. A lot of the models we're talking about are on display in there and again our shelves are packed, come on in any time and uh, most of the models, not always, but most of the models are available on hand. Um, one other that's coming in in the Christmas shipment, Advantis, Advanti S, 80 mils, wow. um, we're out of stock of them, they pretty much sold out quite, quite quickly out of the last shipment. Um, this will be your chance to get your name on one and I think from memory's sake, there's only about 10 of them in this container. So I expect those to sell within the first week of them landing quite easily. Uh, there's already some pre-orders. So if you want an Advani S, um, you don't want it air shipped over from Free Wing or wherever else, um, contact us guys, put your name on one and we'll be able to ship it as soon as it lands to you. We'll only uh, obviously take your name and phone number for now and you've got the option when it lands uh, whether you want to proceed with the order. So. Uh, I'll leave it from there. It's Chad from Extreme Hobby. I'll let Yoda close off now. Um, but guys, thanks for watching all year. Thanks for everything. We'll still bring a demo of probably the BAE Hawk before the end of the year. Other than that, I think that that would probably be the wrap up for us, uh, or close enough to. Uh, there might be something else that may come through, but otherwise we're almost at the end, guys, nearly into the uh, 2018s. So over to Yoda. Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah, Merry Christmas, everyone. Enjoy your flying. Get out there and just rip it up. Have a great summer, guys. Thanks, guys.